Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish girl. I am a super high vibe spirit having the greatest human experience with you. Ooh, yes, it came out. We will talk about this. But I am having the greatest human experience with you right here, right now. This is the realest reading of your life. This is a timeless collective reading. So always remember to breathe with me. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't for someone else. The lion animal spirit is giving you the courage you need to be assertive and master the art of, of leadership. Stop playing with me channel message from my guides okay yes from my source to yours Ooh, this is actually being filmed during the Lionsgate portal so um this is pretty interesting how this is all playing out okay so I'm definitely hearing a lot of channel messages right now the person on your mind is completely over their ex because they only have eyes for you so some of you are like is this person over their ex I need to take charge in this situation I need to get in front of this I need to do 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 I'm hearing all you have to do is be okay um oh my goodness i feel like um let's just leave it right here we're gonna take what's on the bottom bottom of the deck this is the urgent energy right here you are on the right path keep going and don't look back so for some of you You need to get over your ex. You need to let go, okay? Pure channeling messages from my source to yours. I am just so excited right now to be in this beautiful time space reality. Let's just see anything that comes up that you guys kind of like, you know, that you want to know. I'm kind of feeling like Okay, let me listen for a second. Since the energy is so raw and this seems like it is a love situation, this card just fell down, the five of one. Some of you are really like, you're dealing with someone that other people want. Even if this isn't an ex, you know, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Could it, doesn't have to be. That's just the one tarot card. Um, that flew out and I felt guided to pick that up but from there let's just see what is this person's instincts the person on your mind collective okay what's what's on their mind about you using my instincts deck let's see um so take a trip new experiences await so for some of you you could possibly be going on a trip um could actually be like having you know talking to other people because with this the lion animal spirit being the first channel message from my personal deck um that's telling me that someone here is open to seeing other people so this person is feeling the competition you know what i'm saying but listen you gotta put your crown back on and don't take it off especially if you have been putting up with someone who's making you feel like you have to compete um ride the wave just breathe with me yes let's see what else this person wants to say um see i can't make this up tell them you love them before it's too late it's like before you put your crown back on before you choose someone else and then that person doesn't get to be the king that person doesn't get to be the queen in the relationship 
um, that is the wave because right now I'm hearing whoever is watching this, you are a master manifester. Like you think of something, it happens. You tell people you're hello. Thank you very much. Right. You tell people, you tell them, um, you give them advice, you know? So before it's too late, mm. um, for, I heard somebody say it's already too late, but this reading is fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big things in store for that person. Big things in store for whoever just came through with that one. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, yes. So let's see. Let's get one more. Um, don't hate meditate okay this person is really trying to get over you for some of you this person feels like i just need to focus on myself oh i just need to you know i'm not hating but this person deep down they're hating if you're with someone else and if you're not any with anyone this is how this person's gonna feel about you this person's gonna be very jealous over you so the person you're dealing with they're very jealous they're very possessive they want all of your time your attention their ex doesn't compare to you um, anyone that they meet and they talk to they don't compare to you you guys you know you can write these messages down in the comments okay there you go that's your new affirmation right that's a channel message look at that so much spiritual energy is coming through this reading I don't even know what to say blessed blessed be the one who receives this message okay um let's just get right into this and see what what is this person actually their conscious thoughts of you that they are aware of we're going to use the hermit tarot okay now and let's just see yes what is this person what are their exact thoughts that's too many what is this person's exact thoughts? Oh, okay. This person's exact thoughts is like, now is not the time. This person is not trying to compete with anybody else. <laughs> if you've been ignoring this person, this person feels like, now is not the time for you to be ignoring me. Now is not the time for me to be playing games with you, okay? take it how it resonates um you are my everything that's too many so i'm gonna put it back um i'm just feeling like yeah for some of you this person oh my goodness look at this do you even care listen you cannot make this up if you like this reading go ahead and give it a like okay if this resonates with you stay tuned for more right thank you so much look at that what do you even care now is not the time to be acting like you do not care um but i think you should definitely for some of you if you feel guided to put this person on pause um this could be air energy this could be gemini aquarius libra energy this could be taurus energy this could be any of those spiritual um I don't know i just read this deck a bit different okay so yeah this is an advanced tarot deck by the hermit tarot um so yeah um do you even care right okay do you even care <laughs> it's funny because for some of you this person could have a, a blocked throat chakra or this person could actually really be like just fumbling over their words they don't know how to act okay um you have so many choices and and and, op and options um for some of you yeah you could be kind of in the public um spotlight or for some of you this could be someone that you've known for a while or you just feel like your spirit connects with them but it's like you, you you have to make time for this person this person has to make time for you this person could be feeling like they want to make more time for you because like they don't want you to be spending your time with other other people this person could miss you this person could have a life path number six the number six could be significant for some of you okay um let's just get two more and then we'll see i just want to check and see like 
to get some advice and your energy, right? So, um, if I ask you to stay, would you leave? For some of you, yeah, I heard very clear. This this could be someone that you met in a party setting, in a party situation. Um, could be third party, but does not have to be. Um, for some of you, it could be. Um, if I ask you to stay, will you leave? This person kind of feels like maybe you are, this is a long distance relationship. Maybe you left this person before. This person could have abandonment issues when it comes to you. And sometimes for some of you, you're like, what? Maybe this person is ignoring you. Abandonment issues um, manifest differently for some people. Some people chase, some people leave you before you can leave them when it comes to abandonment. Um, I have a lot of experience with that, okay? So, um, let's just see. Um, I have a lot of clients where we talk about this and I have my own childhood abandonment issues on some level, you know, um, I have cleared my energy of my abandonment issues for those of you who like the judge. I feel like somebody here just judged me. <laughs> portal energy is real all right look this person i dream about you a lot this person um they daydream about you could be a cancer pisces scorpio that you're dealing with definitely could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn um i dream about you a lot too much this person feels like you take up so much space in their mind and uh, it's just like this person imagines you and them like you know taking a picture with a crown maybe some of you are like into um medieval stuff like um right um i can't believe i just said stuff but whatever um i dream about you a lot too much this person fantasizes they have a lot of fantasies about you and also if you have this person actually sees signs and synchronicities of you. This is giving me Seven of Cups energy. This is definitely giving me Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Okay, so let's get into this tarot really fast, just really quick. I just want to pull some cards. Um, and let's just see what the tarot has to say okay about the situation for my collective wow confirmation you really do feel like this is your person like you you cl you're clicking with somebody Okay, you're clicking with them, and this person is definitely clicking. This person clicks with you. Um, for some of you, yeah, this, this, you can feel like this is your, you can feel like this is your soulmate, okay? Um, you can feel like this person is incredibly nourishing. Oh my goodness, this person could definitely be, I was waiting to see if this came back up if I pulled this out. Definitely really strong Libra energy, really strong Cancer Pisces Scorpio, really strong Gemini energy, okay? Um, this Empress is sticking out. You know, you feel like this person is really good with their mom, they're really good with their family. They are family oriented. They're so friendly, um, especially if you're a male watching this. You can feel like this woman is like really into like makeup, fashion, hair, home decor, really feminine, a great mom. Um, this could be vice versa. Like the masculine energy is definitely wanting to come through. So for some of you feminines out here, um, your masculine is definitely seeking you and your masculine is seeing you and such a beautiful nurturing and loving loving um i was i was seeing lucky star that someone like is wished upon a star someone said some sort of intention here with the lover someone made a decision to choose you um someone made a, a clear decision to like be with you and um i just think this is so beautiful because i feel like the energy is mutual but let's just see um let's get more for 
um, advice and like how you should handle this situation, right? Um, I just heard that some of you want to know how the person is feeling about you. So let's just get that clear message across, okay? How is the person feeling about you? How is the person feeling about you right now? Oh my God. And I can't make this up. This is the Emperor. Um, you guys must be high-ranking spiritual energies. Whoever is watching this, you guys are like, I can't even deal with this energy. It's amazing. People are watching you. They're watching your relationship. And they're seeing you in some sort of leadership position. Um, and if that's not the case, it's like, that's the type of person that you're attracting here with this lovers, okay? Um... This person sees you as their freaking yin to their yang. Um, the Empress and the Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Really strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Taurus, Libra. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be a really strong esoteric connection that you have with someone. Like, maybe you haven't met them yet, and you're now manifesting this. For others of you, this could be someone who is new. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm not necessarily seeing um, any pentacles in the cards. I feel the energy. Um, this could be, maybe this, this is the six of pentacles. Okay. Um, maybe there's some form of grounded energy, but this is something that is manifesting. This is something that is bre brewing. Um, this is something that is healing. Um, for some of you, this person could be wanting to get a home with you. They could be really wanting to take this to the next level. I cannot really commit fully to one complete energy of this reading so i feel the reason why is because for some of you this is new okay and your energy is so strong you are a powerful manifester you could be seeing 11 11 11 really sensitive to um psychic energy psychic downloads you could have a telepathic connection with this person feeling really sensitive to energies like today i felt very sensitive to my candles which i usually have them um lit okay they're soy candles and they're so beautiful like they are um I love them but for some reason my senses are so keen and so heightened I can't take I can't hold a lot of anything that is lower frequency you guys are riding a wave spiritually that it's mind-blowing to people your future is looking so bright when it comes to love this person is feeling so connected to you on a spiritual level and even I would say that this orb here is the world and the emperor so that he's holding so this could even be represented as a pentacle okay um let me just um let's see how you're feeling about this person okay let's just see how you're feeling and then we'll get some advice okay Okay, you could be feeling like this person is doing too much and not doing enough at the same time. Um, for, for some of you, this person could work a lot. Um, be a work, even a workaholic. This person could be obsessed with winning. Um, you just kind of feel like this person here and this person is trying to play you <laughs> and you don't want to be played listen i totally understand right um i don't i don't feel like for a lot of you that this person is trying to play you i just feel like this person you know they could be having a lack of balance and there is that pentacles those those pentacles i were was looking for so so we do have um the two of pentacles here okay you, you can feel like this person is you know, leaving your messages on red. This person 
I'm also hearing you can feel like this person, you know, you're wondering when they're going to drop the ball. For some of you, you, you might have cut this person off and you could be feeling like this person's circling back. This person's trying to get in your energy and should you trust this person? Because maybe you have an emperor or an empress like who's coming towards you. So you could be feeling like that, right? With this, this, this page of swords. Um, for those of you that are wondering, what's this person... Um, your intuition is on point. This person is definitely like stalking you, especially if you are online. If they can online stalk you, trust me. And I, it's not, I don't feel like this is malicious. I did just see 20 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay. Um, it's not like, you know, they're trying to do it in a malicious way. I, I don't, I don't feel anything even though the page of swords really can be that energy for some of you i'm hearing that their ex or someone in their past right um listen i told you this was going to be the realest reading right so the person on your mind is completely over their ex so this could be your ex their ex okay who's like um you're needing to know that um this person is aware of that and this person could have checked their ex like this person's not gonna put up with someone like they're gonna be the one stalking you okay <laughs> i mean i can go on and on and on i'm just saying seriously what if you want a continuation of this reading all of the information is linked in the description below um yeah for some of you you could work with this person you you could have met them at work and you definitely feel like this person has options you definitely feel like this person has other, but but at the same time it's like you're, you're holding the true cup of their heart like yeah you see how there's one woman here with the cup and this could be feminine or masculine so just take it how it resonates okay um and then there's two here in the back um for some of you yeah this person it there they, they have their focus on you and not the other two in the back, okay? So you kind of know this and you're confident. If you're lacking confidence and, and like worried that your person's doing other, I feel like it's small talk because I'm not seeing anything malicious here with this two of pentacles, okay? So it's like you don't have anything to worry about. You're definitely coming off as the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you feel like you don't want to share this person. You feel like you don't want to share your time with them. Um, if this ch if this person has children, you could feel like this person is a really good um dad but maybe in the romance area like you feel like this person needs to step up romantically um but you also feel like this person is so fun to be out with to hang out with to be around to spend time with right um i might do um I'm really feeling guided to kind of wrap it up i feel like i want to keep going if you guys like this video again please let me know in the comments um i would love to know how this reading resonates with you please stay tuned for more um let's just see if we can get some advice i don't know why i just felt guided to pull this other deck for advice this is very interesting <laughs> i'm literally going with the flow thank you to my spirit team thank you to my source thank you so much mm, okay if you guys have been focusing on yourself yeah like your self-love and like being honest with yourself self-care self-love okay Yes, this is the Melanin and Romance deck. I love this deck. Shout out to Queen Sugar. Yes. Um, romance. Think about the relationship you want to have, okay? Think about the love that you want to have. Think about how, what it would be like. Imagine your date if you're not with that person. If you are in a relationship and you're with someone, you know, just say to yourself, wow, this is amazing. If you're having issues with, the romance in your connection just claim your romance right claim your romance that's the vibe write it down 
and make it real tell the story the way you want it to be for some of you um the advice is for you to just simply expect romance expect to be romanced expect to have a romantic loving connection a loving relationship some of you um the color maroon is standing out okay i think your person likes that color you can wear that color dress lipstick nail polish that person's totally gonna be into this color maroon here in this illustration um that will be mac diva <laughs> I can't go. I'm going into my makeup artist stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get some more advice. Um, let's get some more advice. Wow. A lot of you give so much and you're going to be receiving some sort of gift because of the way that you give okay and i'm also hearing give love to receive love right in all of your relationships especially if you're feeling like you know you're getting the short end of the stick or um you're not being shown your value right sometimes you have to be valuable to receive your value and, and and focus on manifesting what you want rather than what you don't want okay because gifts and offers are definitely coming to you okay um the person you're with or like i don't know they just want to treat you like some sort of royalty okay some of you could be seeing orbs Some of you could live in Hawaii. I'm hearing that. Okay. Let's get one more card for advice. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Subscribe. Press like. It really helps me when you do that. Thank you so much. Wow. For some of you, oh my goodness. Um, your advi advice is to believe that um, you only have one twin flame and that twin flame starts with you first, okay? Um, try not to focus everything on being in a relationship, being with another person. Um, if, it, if it's not working out, release it. You know, um... wow this is deep um for some of you you could be coming into union with your twin flame and why is this giving me lion's gate portal energy yet again because this is giving me serious and this is giving me the sun am i bugging okay um the advice is to manifest because twin flames are actually master manifestors and whether you're with your twin flame or not the advice is to manifest know that your thoughts truly create your reality what you think you are what you say you are you are that's my email that's a confirmation listen put your crown back on and do not take it back off you are so powerful okay that is your advice your advice is to know that you are so powerful and i'm hearing like you you literally have the world in the palm of your hands you can manifest anything this is your season is what i'm hearing you are a twin flame um and you do not need to be in union with your twin flame to be a twin flame that is your advice thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in your next reading until then